Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole H. Today we are doing a couples tag and I'm here with my husband, Brandon. <laughs> hey guys, your opinion is bullshit. Episode 5 coming soon. Podcast. Check them out. What? <laughs> so I have wrote down um, some questions and put them in this mason jar. I don't even know how many questions are in here. Uh, probably won't even get to all of them, but... So how this works is we're going to tag it off. So either he starts or I start, either way. So we pull out a question and ask it to the other person and the other person has to answer and then we'll just go back and forth. How so, you come up with this game? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you want to start or me? We go first, ladies first. All right, so first question, well, So he has no idea what questions I even wrote down. I just woke up from a nap, by the way. Anyway, so first question. Oh, well, let's just first start off by saying like, um, so we're married. How long have we been married? Five years, five in how many months? Um, so like four months, five years and four months. Got married in um, March of 2015. And then, so how long have we been together in total? Mm, 13 years, maybe. I don't know. So 2016? So what is that? I'm not good with math, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so 2016 to now, whatever that is. Anyway, long, long time. A long time. 20 years. We want to say off and on? <laughs> yep, you can say off and on. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, off and on. <laughs> anyway, so first question did you enjoy our first date? Uh, I did. Uh, I don't necessarily remember all the particulars of our first date, but then we go to the movies or something. Yes. And you said I didn't, I act like I didn't want to be there, but I wanted to be there. I'm probably... First of all, it was a double date um, with another couple. Yes. And so basically, before our first date, we met at the mall. Um, our first meeting was at the mall yep. and he had a grill in. I did have a grill in, for sure. <laughs> and so initially I was not interested whatsoever. <laughs> he was interested. Anyway, so our first date was to the movies. Um, I had to take one for the team. Nope, that's it. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that, so, that is true. That is true. So we went to the movies. Do you remember what we saw? I don't remember what we saw. Uh, was it Mission Impossible or something like that? You say that all the time. I don't remember. Okay. That was a long time. Like I said, 20 years ago. I don't Do you remember, remember what candy we ate at the movies our first date? We had Starburst. And what was special about the Starburst? I don't remember what was special about the Starburst. They were like minty. I, I don't remember that. It was that. weird. Anyway. So they were like Cool Breeze uh, Starburst or something? Yeah, they were really good. I don't remember. Yeah. I remember having Starburst, though. I remember that. For sure. I just don't remember me and Minty Fresh, and I don't remember what movie we saw. So you say you enjoyed the first movie? I enjoyed it, yeah. You don't think I enjoyed it? You didn't no, enjoy it. I did enjoy the first day. I enjoyed it. Okay. So, you pick a question now. It was a long time ago, so that's why. <laughs> All right. Am I a beach person? Not if you a beach person. Am I a beach person? Are you a beach person? Yeah, am I? No, you're not a beach person. I'm not a beach person So at all. <laughs> once a year we go to Florida um, in Orlando and we drive to Cocoa Beach every single time. And this one complains 
every time we go to the beach. I'm just not an outside person. As, I'm not a summer person. As soon as we get on the beach, she's like, I'm ready to go immediately. And she'd be wanting to be on the beach for all day long. I can 12 stand hours on. straight. We get in the water. We don't, we ain't no super uh, diehard water people. She just want to lay and listen to the beach. It's fine, I but it'd be it. hot it's as so fuck calming. outside. So I just be ready to go. That's all. And he's always fully dressed at the beach, too, from head to toe. Yeah, because I don't be wanting to be there, so. <laughs> That's all. All right, my turn. Yes. <laughs> Who is better at winning arguments? Uh, That's a good question. I think nobody ever win. I, I know I always end up uh, apologizing, so I guess you could say you won't win all the time. I, guess. I don't think so. I would say the opposite. Why you say the like opposite? I feel like when we get into it, um, you always have a lot to say. Yes, I'm a very opinionated person, <laughs> that's for sure. And so you're always the one who's doing most of the talking. I'm the type don't necessarily that, mean I win. I'm the type who has to like think about my thoughts. I have to manifest on them. And I don't know, you just always say what you have to say immediately. I always end up apologizing, so she win the argument. At the end of the day, I. I say what I say because I'm an opinionated person, but she win all the time. Okay. <laughs> let's go, let's see what else is in here. There's a lot of questions. Uh, let's say, what is my favorite movie? Uh, your favorite movie is, should I name all of them? Whatever you want to do, you can name two of them. He Got Game. He Got Game was one of them. Coming to America. The, that's my favorite movie. Coming to America. Yes. I don't even watch it. I need to start watching it more than I do, but Coming to America and He Got Game is my favorite movies of all time. And we sure. have He Got Game on DVD. And you don't like it. It's still in the cellophane, isn't it? You no, we didn't watch it. Out. We watched it. I think you just don't like the movie for some reason. It's a Spike Lee movie, so you shouldn't like the movie. But you don't like other Spike Lee movies I like. Which movie that? Which movie? That I don't like. Um, what's that one? The other one with Denzel Washington? And he's like a trumpet player. Was that Mo Better Blues? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about Mo Better Blues. Okay. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Okay. What was our first road trip together? I've never been my first road trip. Let me think. What's our first road trip? I just know all our, our all our first road trips wasn't good. We always end up having an argument about some every single time. I think our first road trip was to Chicago. I don't remember. I think so. For um, the taste of Chicago, or I think so because I had never been to Chicago ever in life, and so my first time was going with him, and I had a blast. We went to. The aquarium. We went to the you beach. You sure that was our first time? I remember. So I remember all that because we did go to the beach. That was my first. I used to live in Chicago and I never been to the beach. So that was, I I, I remember going to the beach and we got in the water and it was, was cold. Was it as like fuck. Branson or the Ozarks? I, think I it don't was remember. Chicago. It probably was Chicago. Then that time was was good then if that was our first time. Any other time we go on trips, it always end in the arguments at not some point. Not now. Not now yet. <laughs> now you just don't like to travel. What? I, we always get into a traveling because you your attitude be jacked I'm a, up. I, I'm a bad traveler yes. because I don't like like the traveling process of going to the airport, waiting around. I just if I could just snap more, my fingers and be at my location, then that would be ideal. But that's yes. not the way the world works. That's so. how more of the argument. It don't only be argument. Now I already know how she be on trips, but before we usually find something to argue about while we was on vacation. We don't do that now. We are right now. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> uh, Who's turn? My turn? Your uh, turn? I think it's your turn. No, you just picked. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. N name a movie I love. Uh, You want me to name multiple? I know Gone with the Wind. Yes. The Notebook. Yes. Uh, What else? That were them, them your favorite movies, right? Those are the top. I don't. Well, I don't know what other movies. I know TV shows, but them the top, your favorite movies of all time. Yes. They're going with the mo a win movie like twelve hours long. So, how long is it? Uh, maybe three. It's a long ass movie, so it's I. It's good though. It's yeah, a classic. If you say so. 
It's a, it's a classic. Uh, am I a morning person or a night owl? You are a night owl. I am a night owl. This one will put Jordan to sleep yes. and then come downstairs and play the game until like two, three o'clock in the morning. Yep, shout out to to the homeboy who play Call, Call of Duty and 2K all night. Uh, yeah, I'm a night owl. Uh, I don't, I mean, I get up in the morning. I mean, I work morning shifts and I just get up and I'd rather be up at night though. That's for sure. Yeah. So on Fridays, he'll go to work, have to be there at five o'clock in the morning. Yep. And still will play the game until like two, three o'clock in yeah, the morning. Yeah, I'd be up and I'd be good. And then I wake up Saturday when she nudged me because Jordan be crying. I get up and be fine with her. So I, but I, I'd rather be up at night than in the morning, but I'm so used to getting up in the morning. I'd be getting up and don't have an attitude in the morning. So I'd be good. Yeah. Go ahead. Shout out to Jordan, man. I miss you, baby. She's not here right now. We have to do the show. She's with her TT. TT. What is my best personality trait? Hmm, that's a good one. Uh, you're very caring. Careful. Caref you're caring as far as you care for uh, a lot of things. You care for how people think about you. Uh, you care if you want people to check up on you, not check up on you like hardcore check up on you, but you care for people to always check in and make sure you're doing all right. But you're a very car caring person. I would say so myself, right? That's a good one. <laughs> uh, who drives on road trips? Who you drives tell on? the truth. Uh, you tell, it's your question. To you. Oh. <laughs> so road trips, we mainly have to do rock, paper, scissors before we <laughs> even leave the house. Yes. On who is driving there. So yeah. both of us will prefer to drive to a location. Neither one of us want to drive from that location. I do not want to drive back. So, so we definitely have to do rock, paper, scissors. And what happened is whoever <laughs> drive there don't have to drive while we down there. Oh, is that it? Is that how we do it? Or if you drive down there, you if you drive down there, you also got to drive while we down there and then the other person drive back. I'd rather do, I can do all the driving down there and on the road trip. I just hate driving back from a road trip. And it's like I the worst lose. thing ever. I always have to drive back. I'm a king at rock, paper, scissors, so don't test that. Don't. That shouldn't even been the game we tried to play because I'm always going to win that. It was always a gamble. I could win, but I never win. No, nah, you never win that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I drive down there, drive, especially Chicago. That's I mean, when we drive, when we go down there, I pretty much know everywhere down there. So I don't mind driving, just dreading coming back. I don't drive coming back. I hate that. And in Chicago, I always drive back in the rain and the, in the sn snow. The snow, yeah. Storm. She didn't drive back in the it's blizzard terrible. before. So it was kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah. Who turned it? Yours. Mine? Yours. <laughs> <clears throat> if you could throw away one belonging of mine, what would it be? Oh, that's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't trip off nothing that you got though. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of things you would like to draw, draw, throw away that I got. Some of those shoes he doesn't wear. Uh, as they said that real fast. <laughs> uh, what else? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you want to throw away my PlayStation. Oh, for some odd reason. <laughs> I would not throw it away. I don't know. It ain't, I don't think I, I can't think of nothing that I would want to throw away that you got. I don't know. Next. Next. That was a weak one. <laughs> but yes, she want to throw away my PlayStation, which is horrible. It's annoying. It's All the ladies can relate. No. Not stress reliever. Who is the more likely to get jealous? Um, me, I think. Why is that? You just, they just think so? Not necessarily jealous of you like talking. Well, yeah, cause when, <laughs> when you have to train people at work, who do I always say? Is it, is, is it a man or a woman? Yeah. How old are they? Yeah, she do do that. <laughs> You're right. That's annoying as hell. I'm just training. Yeah, it ain't, uh, once you married, ain't nothing to be jealous about at all. Whatsoever. Or when he, or like on social media when you talk to people I don't care for. Yeah, she'd be like, why, why are you responding to them? I can't even like the way they, if they say something, I can't even respond to them at all. I still do it, but 
because uh, just I'm a friendly person and I ain't, I don't be trying, I, whatever. Just, you jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> don't be jelly. Don't be jealous. Don't be jelly. Go ahead. <laughs> What is your fondest memory of us? Fondest me oh well, when I proposed to you, that was one of the, the best, the most nervous and the fun time at Tiny Sushi Bar. I don't even think it's there no more, but yeah, they closed down. getting down on my knee on Valentine's Day and that the whole room full of people was pretty amazing for me because I I'm not normally like a normal uh, uh, uh an enormous nervous personality. I don't get nervous on little stuff. I was nervous. And then when I did, I was like super happy in my head. So I remember that vividly. Yeah, I think that was a good memory. That was a good memory. <clears throat> oh, having our baby was amazing. That <laughs> Being in the room for that was simply a, a, the, the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. So that that's a big one. Not our wedding? Our wedding too. I mean, cried. I cried on our, I cried for we the birth. Cried. It was amazing. I, every, I, I'm emotional in that, but I, the, I was nervous on the on the getting on the knees. I was super excited about the baby and super emotional about seeing you walk down the aisle in your dress. That was amazing. Uh, what is my favorite cuss word? What is my favorite cuss word? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite cuss word. I do cuss a lot. A lot. Sorry, Brooklyn and Bailey. I know y'all don't like what? for me. Do you say fuck? I probably say fuck. I know I say <laughs> shit. Uh, I know I say the N word a lot, which I know you've been getting on me. My mom been getting on me about said even in my podcast I was doing early. She she spotted it out when I said it, so I try my best not to say it as often as I do. But I I'm a cusser, that's for sure. Definitely. But fuck <clears throat> shit. And when my mom was with us, she used to say, "I have never heard him cuss." Well, I, I never have never heard it. I never cussed around her. I tried to be the most polite. I always wanted to be an angel in her eyes. She Rest is in peace. Very respectful. Uh, but Definitely. yeah, I, but I got a potty mouth any other time, even around my mom. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> do I snore while I'm sleeping? Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You just don't. You probably don't snore as loud as I do. You don't snore as loud as I do. I know I, I snore. I'll be catching myself snoring sometimes. But you do. When you be sleepy or you uh, nice when you drink, yeah, you be you be counting some uh, some sheep. Loud. Loud as shit. Go ahead. So it's my turn. Yep. Okay. He says it's fun, huh? Uh, was I obsessive? Were you a, a, was I a obsessive bride or groom? Was I an obsessive groom? Not at all. No, not at all. Uh, well, we had a very easy going wedding. I mean, we we was planning on having a big wedding here, like a huge wedding. Uh, the money started creeping up real, real high. The guest list was changing every day, so we just flat out decided to go to Vegas. Spend some money down there for a week, and I had a had a ball. Wait, pause. pause. We did not have a Elvis drive-by wedding. Yeah, we not yet. Real wedding in Vegas, like at a chapel with guests and yeah. a reception and everything. Let's just get that. Yeah, a lot of people. So I, when I'm at my job. When I tell they ask me where I get married at, some of the passengers, I said Vegas. That's that's the first thing they say. Yeah, you went to a drive-up, so that's a lot of people expectation of Vegas. That's what they think, and it's one like we had an actual wedding with friends and family there. A chapel, a minister, a minister, like everything. Yeah, so it was, it was actually pretty dope. We saved a lot of money and actually probably had more fun in that week than we probably would have had in the whole spent, day. Spent less than we would have in the day, and spent the whole week down there and had a blast with all of our family. Yeah, we just we. I mean, I'm glad that your your parents got to come. My dad, my mom and dad was there. My dad, not no very personal person, so for them to be there was the world to me. Wish it was, wish it was more fam friends there. And that family. family that I mean that wasn't able to make it due to other circumstances, but I had a ball. And we actually wanted to do a five year renewal, but with all this Corona stuff and then Can't having do Jordan, it. it was just too much at the same time. Yeah, so just we just got a house, so we'll do some later. That's like for sure. ten years, maybe. Yep. Hopefully. Sure. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. What is my favorite snack? Oh, your favorite snack? Do you have a favorite snack? You... Oh, I have a recent one. What, brownies? No. What is it? Uh... His dad got it for me. 
Reasons. Oh yeah, uh, strawberry cheesecake. What's the name of that? Strawberry, strawberry. swirl cheesecake. Yeah, Atlanta Cheesecake Company. Yeah, it's it's fire. She she more obsessed with. It. I only can have a couple pieces, but I came out when my my dad got it some for Father's Day and a whole a whole thing a whole cheesecake. Yep, and I had like two pieces. She had like twenty, and then I came home the next like the a couple of days later. She went to Durberg's found it and, and ate the whole thing again. I so. had to research where to find them because they were so good. It's fire. No, it's definitely fire. I just I can't eat all that, but you be on it. <laughs> so, but that is true. That is the that is the most recent thing for sure. Uh, were you nervous on our first date when we went to the movies to see yes. so-called Mission Impossible? Yes. What were you nervous about? I mean, because you were new. I didn't really know you. Um, yeah. I wasn't nervous at all. Of course you weren't. I wasn't. Why? I don't know. I was just, I was fine. I didn't, I didn't think nothing too much of it. Because you're a guy. I guess. Women, yeah, women look deep into stuff like that. I mean, we just go with the flow. Yeah, I was nervous. Like, where to put your hands? Nah, and... my goodness. I didn't think about <laughs> none of that. Like, I was, I was laid back and chilled out. How old was I? Twenty. So yeah, I was nervous. Nah, man. Nobody. It shouldn't have been no nervousness. Look at us now. <laughs> Look at us now. <laughs> That's always your answer. Yeah, came a long way. If our home was on fire and everyone important was out, <laughs> what would you go back in to save? Uh. Definitely, my PlayStation be on uh, one of the things. Uh, everything was gone. Y'all, you, Jordan, Bully gone. Uh, I would take. I had to grab some shoes. I know I wouldn't be able to get all the shoes, but uh, what is that? No, it didn't say one thing. So keep naming. Oh stuff. yeah, so my <laughs> my shoes, all my shoes. Then all of them? yeah, all of them. If the uh, house is on fire, yeah, I set my house on fire. Uh, I guess other essential, maybe my some of my favorite shirts and shorts and underwear and underclothes, but uh, I don't even Just think I would. Just for you, uh, we gotta be naked for the rest of our life. Yeah, y'all find some. Y'all will <laughs> find something though. Uh, no, nah, yeah, I mean, that'd be how my, I'm telling you, PlayStation, all that stuff would be how my priority. I probably didn't even think about clothes and for neither, for none of us, probably clothes and shoes, and I probably wouldn't think about nothing else. In that heat of the moment, but. To think about if I had to sit down and think that yeah, all right, clothes for for Jordan, uh, definitely diapers. diapers, yeah, clothes, <laughs> all the necessary stuff for sure. But just at the heat of the moment, I'm like, damn, I gotta get my PlayStation, man. That's my life. <laughs> uh, let me see. Use one word to describe me. Is that if that's even possible to use one word? I don't think it's possible to use one word. So use multiple say, words. I will say friendly. I'm definitely friendly Joe Bob, as yeah, as you say. And He's my cousin Adrian friendly. think I'm the most friendliest person ever. He talks to absolutely <laughs> everybody. Yes. Even on Facebook, like if it's anybody's birthday. Yeah, I shout out to everybody on birthday. <laughs> he and will then, tell everybody happy birthday. And then when people say happy birthday to me, I got to show love to everybody. He has to that, respond to every single one. Yeah, my people. Yeah, sh shout out to my people, man. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm super friendly. So that's a, that, friendly. Was, that was a good one. Has to speak to people out in public. What's I, up, big dog? What up, big dog? <laughs> what up with it? Uh, tell me Wait. about... What? It's my turn, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I guess at this point it don't matter. Who enjoys clubbing the most? I mean, are we the collective time of us being together? Definitely you. Now, neither one of us. Now, neither one of us. That's for sure. We passed that. But back like in the in day. The past, yeah. When we uh, we looking at the time we was together, you still was in the mode of going out. I did a lot of my going out when I was in high school and at senior high school, I was out all the time. But after I got out of high school, my I just didn't care about none of that. But you still wanted to kind of dibble and dabble with it a little bit. Not hardcore, but you were still going out a little bit. But not neither one of us care about going out for real. Like I said, I'd really be playing the game at home chilling with y'all and the kids then being out for real and me binge watching shows. pretty little liars and hope that's probably i'm pretty sure that's a question in here at some point <laughs> uh, let me see uh when did we meet is this the same question you no we just said it at the beginning oh, we okay. met in 2000 
2006. Yeah. May 2006. Yep, and what's the backstory of that? That we went to school together. Yeah, we went to high school. We never, together. we didn't meet. We we knew. I think we knew each other in passing. I knew. I like I said. I didn't. I saw you. You probably didn't care nothing about me. Yeah, I saw you. I remember who you were, but uh, we never said we, one word. One to word each to other. each other. Parkway uh -oh. North is a big school, so used to, a lot of people used to see in passing and never really had I conversation. I actually dated with. one of his friends. That's for sure. The one of the homeboys. <laughs> but I didn't. Like I said, we didn't know at the time, so uh, it's crazy to talk think about it now. But yes. But we didn't, we, in 2006. So we went to school with each other from 2000, 2000, 2000 until 2002, maybe? Yeah, that's when you went to Hazelwood, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so we didn't officially, officially meet in person until 2006. Until the mall day. I was grilled out and jabot out. Wave cap. With a jersey, too, I think. Wasn't it a huge jersey? I don't remember, but back in the day, I'm I'm pretty sure everything... What? <laughs> everything was big and goofy. What qualities in me attracts you the most? The current is one of them. Uh, you got a warm heart for a lot of things. Uh, seeing you as a mother is the most attractive thing to me now. Like, I love when you take her a Jordan, so that's very attractive. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> what is it? Uh, complete this sentence. You, you're my. Complete this sentence. You're my. You're my everything. Oh, oh, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What size shoe do I wear? I'd be forgetting all the time. Is it uh? Seven and a half and men. Wrong. Seven and men. Yes. What Not men, him? boys. Look, gray school. Yeah. What about in women's? Uh, is that six. What? I don't know. A nine. Yes, a nine. A nine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'll be. I always have to ask her that. I don't be remembering that. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what size shoe you wear. What? Eleven and a half. Yep. Okay. About ninety percent of the time. Sometimes I get eleven. Sometimes. Uh, who is the loudest? <laughs> I think That's you that. can see from this, this video who's I'm the loudest. Not so, I'm not super loud in the video, but yes, I'm the loudest. He is very loud. Even when he's whispering, he whispers like he's yelling. Yes, you made a joke because when we be putting Jordan to sleep, I be trying to whisper and she be like, I'm talking regular, but I be <laughs> I be trying to whisper, but she be th saying, no, you yell like you're yelling at me. It and I just work. be like, Jordan's sleeping. And she said, you you just cussed me out because I was loud. <laughs> He's very loud all the time. No, not all and the time. Jordan is used to it, which is weird. I guess she's just used to it from when she was in my belly. But Probably. he is extra loud and she just sleeps right through it. That's fine. <laughs> okay, these are going to be our last two. We save some for maybe later. Another video. What color looks the best on me? Hmm. I, I like you in red. Uh, I like when you wear black. Uh, your favorite color is purple, but you don't even wear purple, but I think you will look white and nice in purple. I don't know what you would wear in purple, but I think you will look nice in it. But I like you in red, that's my favorite color. And I never wear red. Not, not really, <laughs> not enough. Uh, last question, what is your biggest fear in this relationship? That's a good one. What is your biggest fear? Um, I think my biggest fear is you leaving. Oh, that's a fear that's never gonna happen. I ain't going nowhere. I got no reason to go nowhere. That's what I always have dreams about. Yeah, you, you be having weird dreams all the time anyway. So that's not even a, that's a, a normal dream. Some of your dreams be weird as hell. But yeah, I'm not going nowhere. So you gotta worry about that. Okay, well that's it. We still got a few more, so we may come back and do another video. But this is our couples tag, marriage edition. Yep. Again, this is Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Nicole H. <laughs> I'm Brandon Hanley, young, young nice on Instagram. If you want to check me out, opinions of bullshit, check me out. Make sure you check out his podcast and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For sure. I will see you all next time. Peace out. What you do? <laughs> spirit, spirit fingers. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs>